What's up guys, welcome to the Macintosh Review. In this video, I'm going to give you an overview and a tutorial of how to use Cydia on your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch. Cydia is the jailbreak installer application downloaded when you jailbreak your device that allows you to install any jailbreak apps and tweaks on your device. And this guide is updated for 2016, so let's jump right into it. Hey, do you like getting paid applications for free on iOS or Android? If you do, definitely check out AppNana. This is a service that I personally use to get any paid application for free on both iOS or Android. It's totally free and it's definitely worth a try. Check out my link in the description for more info and to get started with a little bonus. So first off, to jailbreak your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch, go ahead and check out my channel. I've got a bunch of guides to do this already posted, so if you're looking for an actual jailbreak guide to install Cydia, I recommend using one of my guides on my channel down there below. Once you have Cydia installed, this is what the application looks like, and this is my iPhone 6 for reference, currently running iOS 9. So when you open up the application, you'll actually see five tabs along the bottom. You have Cydia, the homepage, Sources, Changes, Installed, and the search tab. Now the home screen basically lists info about Cydia along with the recommended applications and frequently asked questions. So if you have any questions regarding Cydia or you're not sure what applications to install at first, this is definitely the right tab to go to. Next we have the sources tab. The sources for Cydia are the websites that are hosting the applications or tweaks that you're looking to download. So by adding more sources, you give yourself access to more tweaks and apps to install from more developers. There are a ton of sources out there. I don't have very many installed right here, but a simple Google search can definitely help you add more sources. You can also see what applications are hosted on those sources by simply clicking the source itself on the list. Next we have the changes tab. If you click this, you're going to go ahead and see that you can think of this as a combination of the updates tab in Apple's App Store and a newly listed applications from your sources tab. So in a way, this will list any updates to any applications you already have installed, any updates to Cydia, and any applications that have recently been posted to your sources. It's pretty self-explanatory after knowing that. As you guys can see, these new applications were posted to different sources I had added on March 28th, and it will also show you any updates to applications you have in here. Next, we have the installed tab. This is a list of all of the applications and tweaks that you've installed from Cydia. This is also where you can reinstall applications, remove applications, or simply see the information regarding things that you've installed. Simply click the package and you'll see the details surrounding it. So as you guys can see, this is an app list. You can click modify up here in the upper right. You can reinstall or remove it. This is basically the end all and be all of Cydia. This is where you can add or remove applications and see everything you've installed so far. Finally, you have a search tab, which is pretty self-explanatory as well. The search tab allows you to search for a specific source or package. Simply tap up here and type in the package you want to install and click the result to see the info. So using these five tabs in Cydia, your device is definitely more usable, more customizable, and definitely more fun. For a beginner, I recommend to install all the applications right here on the front page of Cydia. If you have any questions, definitely read through this whole tab right here to get more information. And if, as you get more advanced, you can go into sources and install different applications and packages. And as I said, it's pretty straightforward to install a package. All you have to do is click the package here on the front page and click install on the upper right. That's how you install all packages and all the other tabs are pretty self-explanatory based off of my tutorial. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and hopefully it helped you out. If you liked the video, definitely subscribe for more content. I upload at least two videos weekly, so stick around. Also feel free to follow my Twitter, Facebook, Google Plus, and website pages all down in the description. And as always guys, I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.